Hi everyone, and welcome to the making of series of Saving Christmas, the game I secretly made and released over the Christmas period of 2019. If you want to play that game right now, you can head over to the description below, as well as all the assets for this project. And this series is all about how I created it, um, so I'm showing you how I'm, as I'm creating it, how I'm creating it. This video, we're going to go over the third and final present spawning into the world. With present one, it already exists and it's on this platforming challenge over here. The next one is a combat challenge with the goblins over in the woods over this side. Knock them all out and the present will spawn. And the last one, which we'll be doing this episode, is the candy canes, making the candy canes appear inside the world. Just raise it up, there we go. So, in this episode, we're basically the same as we've done with the goblins, but this time working with the candy canes. So we're going to go into the level blueprint again, and we'll be using similar sort of functions we did here to create the goblins, uh, to create the candy cane present. I'm just going to comment this one out here, and go goblin combat present, and compile that. Now, I hear I've done a goblin array. The reason why I've done an array is because they're, not all the goblins are part of this combat arena. <coughs> Pardon me. So, uh, what I'm working on this one is that all the candy canes need to be collected. So, easy solution to that is when I collect a candy cane, over on here, we're going to tell it to, um, where is it? We're going to have it up here. When we destroy the actor, we're going to tell it to do another event dispatcher, and on our level blueprint, we'll be handling that uh, event there. So, on the event dispatcher here, we're going to go. Candy cane collected and hit compile on level blueprint. We're going to um, get all actors of class, and this will go on our begin play. So, where's that begin play? up here so let's just drop that down like so and put this on our thing here this will go on to completed so it'll do that on the completed there we are so when that one's completed on this one it's going to get all the candy cane items and then we do a for each loop for this And then from the array element, we're going to bind event to candy cane collected. So every time one is collected, we're going to do a check to see if there are any left in the world. So from there, we're going to do an ev a customer event. Check candy cane. And I'm going to plug that all the way into the check candy cane event down there. Let's put this up actually up here. Space ourselves out a bit. Give some room. Like so. So on the check candy cane, we're going to get all actors of class again. Choose candy cane. And we want to get the length of this array. So however, whatever the length is, that means how many are left. So get length. And we want to check whether or not that is less than or equal to zero. Let's go into a branch. If it is true, that means we can spawn that present in. And we do basically what we've done here. So I'm my world, I'm going to drag a present into the world. Like so. And I'll put it way down underneath. With it still selected, go into our level blueprint, right click, get a reference. And we're going to use the exact same stuff we've got here. So we're going to copy this. And paste that into the true. And hook our reference into both of them. 
The location of this spawn is the location of the last candy cane we picked up. So if we go, um, well, last candy cane we picked up is going to be where the player spawned. So if we go get player character, get location, and we don't want to spawn it directly onto the player. We want to spawn it near vicinity of the player. So if you just go from the get actor location, find random, not find, uh, so random, yeah, get random point, sorry, get random point navigal radius. And plug that into a new location. And the radius is going to be, let's say, 500. So now I find a random point near the player to spawn in our present. So on here, I'm going to now contest at my level and collect all the candy canes. I'm going to fast forward this bit so we don't have to watch it. Okay, so up to the last four candy canes, so if we collect them all up, there is our present ready for us to collect. And there we have it. So a few things to note. Um, I forgot to call the event dispatcher on that candy cane. So we just drag it out and choose call, put call collected. And you saw there I put on a counter pinch string to help me calculate uh, or see how many I left to pick up over here, which I can get rid of now because I know it works. Um, so a couple of things to note as well is be careful that uh, some candy canes aren't your level. I had, for example, some uh, that are uh, tucked underneath the world. So for example, this one here was a culprit. If we move that down too much, you saw a couple of them disappear. So you just raise it up until they actually all show. And that was the case for a couple of things. Uh, but there you go, it's all working and there are three presents ready to be collected. So speaking of being collected, that will be what's happening in the next episode. So next episode we're going to go around and collect up those presents and detect when we've completed the world. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next episode right now, you head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can watch that episode plus many others. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for your support so far, and I can't wait to show you what kind of stuff we'll be getting up to in 2020. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.